here in Ice Arena Wales on Ice Time TV and I'm delighted to say I've been joined by new Cardiff Devils signing Craig Moore. Craig, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, before we talk about your, your move to Cardiff, I think only right that we talk about the, the Dundee Stars, your development there uh, and really giving the Devils all they could handle in the playoff semi-final uh, a, a few weeks ago. What was it like developing under Mark Lefebvre and the, the great organisation up in Dundee? Uh, I mean, I can't thank him enough, especially Mark. You know, he, he took me two years ago with, you know, really just a, a hope that, you know, I could maybe develop and come. And, you know, he gave me a promise I'd get ice time, I'd develop. And, you know, he stuck to his word. And, I mean, the amount of ice time I got over two years only, you know, kind of brought me on to, to get to this chance, to get this opportunity to play with the Devils. So how did, the, uh, how did the chance come about, Craig? Uh, obviously, we, we saw you on Ice Time TV last year, uh, an impressive performer, both forward and, and defence. Call came out of the blue from Andrew Lord? Um, well, obviously, Dundee, there was after playoffs, a bit of speculation on what was happening and things. So, you know, I, I took the time, you know, to sit and reflect, to see what, you know, I thought was best for myself and my career. So uh, I spoke to an old coach. Uh, he did a bit of work for me and got a text from Andrew Lord and pretty much just flew from there. And I guess uh, the, the, the position of strength the Devils are in right now when the league champions come calling, that must be uh, pretty yeah, attractive. It's, uh, it's an easy decision, let's say that. It didn't take much time to, to you know I wanted to be here and I was set on that. So going, I guess, through your, your hockey career to date, um, product of Kakadi Junior Development, uh, obviously spent some time in North America as well, and then the last uh, couple of years in, in, in Dundee. So uh, you've experienced a number of different things. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously Kirkcaldy was great for me growing up, but you got to a point where I knew if I wanted to kind of make it a little bit further, I had to, you know, go out with comfort zone. And, you know, thankfully enough, I had my parents, which again, I can't thank them enough, but, you know, they gave me the opportunity to go out, just experience life somewhere else, but, you know, grow as a person as well and, you know, develop my hockey skills. So I went to school for Canada, two years at OHA. Uh, again, did me the world of good, played AAA there for two years and then, from there, uh, I'm, uh, I went to Ogden, Utah, and played for the Mustangs. And again, two great years, back-to-back -back division champs, which, you know, it was nice to go and, you know, have something to, mm -hmm. to show for two years. And from there, I decided school was obviously, you know, pretty important. But I knew if I came home, school was something I could maybe do for free, you know, given some time. But came home, Dundee, you know, I got the opportunity and I kind of put school to the side for now to kind of try and focus solely on hockey and make it as far as I can. Um, I asked Andrew Lord the question the, the, the day you signed, that, that experience in North America, that must be great for a, for a Brit, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, go and experience a new culture, a new hockey culture, yeah. must have taught you a lot. Yeah, I mean, Utah alone is uh, a really different place and you know, here it's uh, obviously a lot of Mormon people, so that was a different thing to experience and it was great, I had two great years like I said, but just at the ice, you know, off the ice, you know, at the rink, at home, just you live with a billet family, you learn so much you make so many friendships and you just grow as an individual and i grew up you know a lot out there you know if i was back home it, it might have been a different situation however you know going out there it, it really does you know it makes you you grow up a lot quicker so uh, andrew Lord was telling us in his interview a few weeks ago that uh, his conversations with you were perhaps the easiest uh, also the most fun he's had when he's <laughs> when he's been signing a player a little bit of a character. I've seen you on social media playing a bit of air guitar and that sort of yeah. thing. So oh, what, what can the Devils fans expect from you, Craig? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to boost myself up too much, but uh, I don't know. Everyone likes to have a bit of fun here or there and don't take myself too seriously, you know. Come to the ice to work, you know. I work my bag off on the ice, but when it comes to off ice, you know, you got to enjoy it while you can, right? So, but I don't think uh, I could agree and say it was easy. I probably the most nervous conversation <laughs> I've had with uh, with Lordo on the phone, you know, I can hear him scribbling down every yeah. word I say. So, yeah, I'm glad he found it easy. He's, but, he's meticulous, absolutely. Yeah. In terms of the hockey side of things, um, and Andrew Lord wouldn't be, wouldn't be nailed down on this, but I guess in terms of your preference, you work very well as a defenseman, you work very well as a forward. Do you have a particular preference of where you want to be in the uh, lineup? Not so much, really. I mean, wherever, you know, I can contribute to the team, wherever Lord wants to put me, I'm, I'm happy to help out. If that's D, if that's forward, so be it. I'm going to do what I can to help the team and, you know, do the best I can. Do you know any of the guys on the roster uh, initially? Obviously, you come up against them every week, but any of the guys who, uh, uh, you know, you're not chirping anymore, they're actually friends? <laughs> Uh, I've worked with uh, Thomas Murdy. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he was here last year, uh, so I worked with him. Uh, but this year, the only guys I really, you know, I know is the British guys who, you know, like Richie's here, you know. So, kind of, 
I know of him, but you know we're not you know best friends or whatever. You know I haven't really met him too much until this week and got on the ice with him out here for a couple of sessions. Uh, Richie and Joey Martin taking you on the ice today, and a couple of them have taken you out to, to see the local delights of Cardiff. Yeah, I mean, great city, you know, I mean, so much to do, so much to see, so I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting around and seeing a lot more of the city when I'm down here at the start of the season. And just, uh, just finally, Craig, ambitions for this year, I guess, as a team, it's to, to try and defend those trophies. You've got Champions League uh, hockey coming up, yeah. uh, and, and for you personally, what are the goals? Uh, I think personally is uh, a bit more development. Obviously, I'm still young. I'm a U23, so I want to come down and you know take take as much information from from guys like Marty and Richie and Lordo himself. You know, taking the time you know this week to get on the ice with me and bring me down and just really develop as uh, an overall player. And at that point, you know, kind of just contribute as much as I can. But as a team, obviously, I know here expectations are high and. You know, you always want to go one further, you know, this year, you know, take the playoffs as well as the, you know, the league, the conference, the Challenge Cup and, you know, the, the CHL, what an experience it's going to be. And uh, I mean, we can only learn and grow from that and really looking forward to, you know, traveling with the team and seeing what we can do there as well. I should just ask, and, and this will be the final one, I promise. You, you, you say there you're only uh, 23, but you wore an A in Dundee. So... Are you someone who's who's prepared to talk in the in the locker room and and, uh, and take on that leadership role? Uh, I think uh, I can be vocal uh, on, in the locker room. I'm not the the loudest guy. I'm not the quietest guy. I don't shy away. But I think on the ice, uh, you know, it's a, everyone's a different character on the ice, and I think I'm pretty vocal on the ice. You know, I say what I feel. You know, I talk, and you know, I, I kind of just I don't know, help guys out the way I can at the same time. Just like guys bounce off of each other. You know, bounce off of you know what I say, what he says. So. I think uh, a strength I'd say is, you know, I am young, but I'm not afraid to, you know, say what I think or, you know, talk and, you know, to help guys just like they help me, whether they're 30 or 25 and, you know, I'm 21 and they're 30, you know, everyone's here to get better and help each other out. So I think just a bit of a experience, you know, I did, you know, being a captain elsewhere or assistant, it kind of helped me, you know, translate it into this level. And at the end of the day, it's all about being a character and the kind of person you are. So I don't think it's as much as age, but just, you know, the kind of person you are. Well, we always like characters on Ice Time TV. They make the interviews uh, a little easier. This was a really good one to do, Craig. Welcome to Cardiff. Perfect. Thank you very much. Cheers.